Hello and welcome to iClone Tutorial, quick guide to video editing, using Magic's Video Deluxe 2008. In this tutorial you will learn how to use iClone and Movie Edit Pro to provide a quick and easy platform for video editing. Everyone who would like to embark on additional editing outside the options presented by iClone Studio can now use Magic's Movie Edit Pro to simply arrange their footage almost effortlessly. So let's go ahead and get started now. Step number one. Open iClone and create multiple projects or one large project, then use the frame constraints found under the viewport to specify a specific region of the project to be rendered. To render, go to Export, Video, choose an AVI output format, select the size DVD NTSC for the largest quality, check on Best Render, and then select the Export button. Step number two. After naming and selecting save for your file, the Kodak window will appear. In the Kodak window, you will choose the compression or choose full frames uncompressed and then select OK to begin the iClone render. Step number three, open Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Name your new movie and then select OK. Step number four, click on the import file button to import the footage you wish to edit. Navigate to the footage files and then select OK. Do this for all the files you wish to edit. When asked if you want to attach the clip to the movie, say attach in order to add it to the project. Step number five. Click the edit button from the top toolbar and then locate the timeline mode button on the bottom left hand navigation. This will show all of your clips on the timeline in order. You may arrange them in any order if they were not imported in the correct sequence at this point. Step number six. You have the option of cutting or trimming your clips down once they're in the timeline mode. You can do this by simply scrolling over the edge of the clips, click and drag to change the duration and edit out any extra time that you may wish to get rid of in order to shorten your movie. Step number seven, add title intro and credits by placing intro and credits title effects at the beginning and the end of the timeline. Go to the title tab and then select the file info title folder and then intro credits effect. Grab it and drag it to the front and the back of your timeline. Then select the text that you wish to use and choose a font style and size that's okay for you and if you would like to customize the color simply click on the color swatch and select the color that you wish once you're happy with your text go ahead and select OK step number eight locate and click on the storyboard button from the left hand navigation once you're in storyboard mode you can quickly choose from many different transitions to place between your clips to do this simply right click on the transition between the clips and choose whichever defaults work best for your movie. Step number nine, export your movie. To do this, go to File, Export Movie, Video as AVI, Name, and then make sure that your render resolution, frame rate, and ratio is the output that you want it to be. And then go ahead and click OK to begin the render. External video editors can sometimes seem very complicated and may deter some directors from achieving a polished and overall consistent flow to their movies. Now, Magic's Movie Edit Pro has made it easy to perform simple editing tasks without a confusing user interface or a complex process to slow you down. Magic's gives citizen directors the power to cut unwanted downtime from their productions with speed and accuracy. Movie Edit Pro lives up to its name, enabling you to professionally edit your movie so easily it's almost like magic. For more information, please feel free to visit www.reillusion.com or contact technical support.